Welcome to another tutorial of the DIA portal. In this session, we will see how we can control the tank level with analog level sensor and analog actuator wall. So let's start today's tutorial. First, let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. We have actuator to open and close the filling valve with analog input and a level transmitter with analog output. And we have a drain valve connected to this tank that can be used to drain the water inside the tank. Here we have the current values for the level sensor and the actuators. Now we will go to the TIA portal and do some programming. In the network 2 we make the analog scaling logic to convert the analog signal coming from the sensor to the 0 to 100 meters using normx and scalex instructions. As we all know that the normx function is used to convert the analog level input values to real numbers from 0.0, .0 to 1.0 and the scalex function converts these real values to minimum and maximum range given in the scalex command. IW30 word is input address of the analog level transmitter used in this tank. Now the scale x function will convert this analog level sensor signal raw input in, into scaled tank level ranges from 0.0, .0 to 100 liters. In network 3, we will make the logic for the level high stasis. This means that to control the tank level smoothly, we have to open the filling valve when the water level is less than the set point and close the filling valve when the tank level is few points higher than the set point. For example, we will start tank filling at 50 liters and stop filling at 52 liters so that we have a window of 2 liters to start and stop the water actuator valve. Otherwise, the system will become unstable. MD20 is a set point to control the minimum tank level and MD40 is the maximum tank level. In the network 4, we will use simple compare instructions to control the water filling well. First, if the tank level is less or equal to the set point, the filling valve with M0.0 will set on. In network 5, we will make a logic to reset the filling valve, which is if the tank level is greater or equal to the high stasis point, it will reset the filling valve. In network 6, we will make the logic to send the command to open and close the filling valve. Since our actuator is having an analog input which is connected to our PLC at GOW30 address.
since QW30 is an output part. If memory bit M0.0 is on, we will use move instruction to write 27648 in the QW30 address. It will fully open the filling valve. Similarly, when the tank level has reached the set point, we write 0 in the QW30 address. It will fully close the filling valve. Now the programming is almost done. Let's start the simulation and see if everything is working as per our plan. As you can see that the tank filling valve is still closed because we have not given the set point to control the tank level. Let's go and modify the tank set point. We will give set point 50. So this means that the filling valve will be open if the tank level is less than or equal to 50 liters. And the filling valve will be closed if the tank level is greater than the 52 liters. As you can see that the tank level is less than 50 liters and filling valve opens and start filling water. It will stop filling once the level has reached 52 liters. As you can see that once the tank level is above 52 liters, it will reset the filling valve with M0.0 and the filling valve will be closed. Let's drain the tank so that the filling cycle will start again. You will see that the filling valve is open again. You can see that the filling valve is open again once the level drops below the 50 liters and will stop once the level has reached 50 degrees. You can see that the filling valve is open again once the fill level drops below the 50 liters and will stop once the level has reached 50 degrees. That's today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, take care and goodbye.